Welcome back everyone. Now we will talk about how we form the passive voice, how we make sentences in passive. All right. So when we say passive, everyone, we are talking about be and verb three, be and verb three. Now without be, you will never have a passive. And without verb three, you cannot have passive. So when we say passive, we are talking about be plus verb three. That's it. Okay. This is the most important part. Now, sometimes we have an auxiliary verb such as have, has, or had. Okay. Uh, and then, or am is are. Okay. And then we have be plus verb three in different forms. So when we say be verb three, we are talking about, first of all, am is are, all right? Sometimes we simply have am is are verb three. Sometimes we, so we have was verb plus verb three. Sometimes we have be in its, uh, in its uh, regular form, okay, in its base form, in its basic form, such as will be verb three. Sometimes we have being verb three, and finally, sometimes we have been verb three, as in have been verb three, has been verb three. So, everyone, what we are saying here is Passive means be and verb three. And when we say be, we mean these five plus verb three. That's it. Okay. It's actually very, very simple. All right. So let's talk about uh, specific tenses in detail. So how do we form passive voice in simple present tense and simple past tense? It's very, very easy. Like I said, be verb three. Here, be is am is are and was were. And verb three is verb three. So again, be is am is are and was were plus verb three. So simple present and simple past tense are formed like, the, like this. Okay? So for example, people buy, people buy plane tickets mostly online these days. This is active voice. Plane tickets are bought are both so m is r plus verb three right or we sold only two cars last month this is the active version we sold all right and passive version is only two cars were sold last month if you are looking at it carefully here our object only two cars becomes the subject only two cars is the subject, right? And if, if we look at present continuous and past continuous tenses, this time we have two B's actually. M is R, being verb three. Now, why do we have being here? Being, I-N-G. Why do we have I-N-G here? The idea is simple, everyone. These are continuous tenses. So to talk about continuity, to talk about progressive action, what do we need? We need verb ing. So here, our verb ing is being, okay, being. So we need verb three for passive. So you cannot get rid of this. Verb three is always here. So what do we have? M is our being verb three, was were being verb three. All right. So the police are searching Mr. Badger's house for clues. Now this is active voice. And for us, the police is not very, very important. Mr. Badger's house is being searched for clues here. Uh, Mr. Badger's house is singular, so we need is, all right? We need being because this is continuous tense, and we need verb three because this is passive.
Or, they were playing classical music in the elevator. So, who was playing classical music? Of course, we don't know, okay? Classical music was being played in the elevator or muzak. It's called mu muzak, actually. All right, anyway. So, classical music was being played in the elevator. This is past continuous tense. Now, present perfect and past perfect tenses. Now, these are perfect tenses. So, because these are perfect tenses, we definitely need have has and had. Because these are, because these are perfect tenses, we need verb 3. So, verb 3 is used in the form of been. So, why do we have been here? It's simply because these are perfect tenses. So, you are using be in verb 3 form. Alright? So, what do we have then? Have has been verb 3. Or had been and verb 3. Let's give some examples. They have built many skyscrapers in the last 10 years. Now, who built, who have, who has built them? We don't know. But, so they is not important. Many skyscrapers have been built. Have because of perfect tense. Been because of perfect tense again, because you need verb 3. Built is because it's verb 3, because it's passive. All right. Now, another example. They had stolen the gold by the time the police arrived. The gold had been stolen by the time the police arrived. I hope this is clear, everyone. Modal verbs is always in modal plus B plus verb 3 form. Why? Because models need verb 1. So, B is in the form of verb 1, base form, right? Verb 1. Oh, this is not, this doesn't look like 1, no, but still you can understand it. So, this is base form, this is verb 1, okay? And then you have verb 3 because this is passive, all right? So, normally you would say the mechanic will repair, repair is verb 1 here, right base form the mechanic will repair the car today the car will be repaired today b is verb one all right and repair this verb three the mech the car will be repaired today or people can observe the full lunar eclipse tonight or full lunar eclipse can be observed, can plus verb 1, be, verb 1, and observed, verb 3. Full lunar eclipse can be observed tonight. So, uh, lunar means moon, right? Moon. Sun is solar, solar, and uh, moon is lunar, all right? So, uh, you should water these plants uh, twice a week. These plants should be watered twice a week, right? Should plus be verb 1 and watered verb 3. And finally, you have to mail the documents today. The documents have to be mailed today. So again, we have here have to plus be plus verb 3. Alright, now if we give a short summary, simple present and past tenses are, are formed with emisar verb 3 and was verb verb 3. Present and past continuous tenses, we use emisar being verb 3 and was verb being verb 3. Perfect tenses, we have have has been verb 3 and had been verb 3. And finally, with all the models, we have model plus B plus verb 3. Alright? 
Actually, the idea is very, very simple. With MSR in continuous tenses, with MSR and was were, you need verb ing. So you have being here, then verb three. With perfect tenses, after uh, after auxiliary, normally you would have verb three. So being is in the form of verb three, then verb three. And finally, with models, normally you would use base form of the verb, which is verb one. So B is verb one, and then you have verb three. I hope this has been clear, everyone. Uh, but this is a very short summary of, of passives. Now, we have, before we finish this part, we have an important point here. Perfect continuous tenses. Now, what does that mean? Past perfect continuous, present perfect continuous, and future perfect continuous. These three tenses have no passive form. Instead, we use the passive forms of perfect tenses. So normally, past perfect, future perfect, and present perfect continuous tense, they have no passive form. We just use normal perfect tenses in the passive form. So let's give an example. They had been building the church for eight years when this and that happened. Now, passive form is simply they had been built, the church had been built for eight years when this and that happened. So this one right here had been built is past perfect passive. This is past perfect continuous, but it has no passive form. So we have this right here. Now they have been building the church for eight years. Now this is present perfect continuous. The church has been built for eight years. Now this one is present perfect passive. And finally future perfect continuous. They will have been building the church. Now if you look at this one we have one, two, three helping verbs or auxiliaries. Now three is already too many, all right? So why do you need another auxiliary? No, this would be terrible. The sentence would look terrible. So we simply have the church will have been built. This is future perfect passive not continuous as you see in the passive form we do not have continuous form so in passive we have continuous form only and only with present continuous and past continuous tenses so they have the continuous form but with other continuous tenses three other continuous tenses there is no passive form I hope this was clear, everyone. In the first part, we talked about what passives are, what are they, and when do we need them. And in the second part, we talked about how we form uh, passives. So here, we have some exercises. Please do not skip those exercises. Please do them. And after that, we are going to talk about verbs with two objects, everyone. See you after the exercises.